my favorite. Ray, hear my confession. Say, I. Astrology Blitz, Gemini with a Scorpio. Look, folks, I don't want to be the creepy old guy. I'm just, you know, I'm an old astrologer and I'm, I'm happily married. I'm not on a, I'm not on TikTok to pick up chicks or, or anybody. Uh, so I don't want to come across as like pervy or weird. Um, but when it comes to Gemini Scorpio, and I'm not a Gemini and I'm not a Scorpio, uh, this is a relationship that is really based on sex. So I don't want to be like the old dude talking about sex. I'm, I'm not trying to be a creeper here. Uh, it's just, I gotta, yeah, that's pretty much, you see the, uh, Scorpio is the, um, the, the relationship between Scorpio and Gemini. Scorpio is the sixth house of Gemini and that's ritual. So Gemini loves that Scorpio <clears throat> is consistent because Gemini could be all over the place. Um, but Gemini is the eighth house of Scorpio and that's the house of sex. And so Scorpio has deep, deep longings for like the perfect partner. And Gemini can understand what the Scorpio wants and deliver it without really necessarily being the perfect partner. They can just play the role of the perfect partner if you understand the difference between being and acting. And so, yeah, this relationship will succeed uh, for a while with great sex, but you're gonna need, um, you're gonna need more than that in the long run because uh, that uh, relationship is not based on sex alone. And for the long term, you're gonna need um, to really establish where your values are. And, uh, but let me tell you, between that establishment and the beginning of the relationship, there's, ooh, man, there's some wild activity out there. Ooh. For the Zodiac sign that needs the most advice at number one, who needs the most advice and needs to go to therapy at number one, Leo. And I do offer personal private astrology readings. I can make a video just like this for you, wake up on the phone together, or I could do your birth chart. The link's in my bio for a reading. Leo. Leo, you need the most therapy out of all the Zodiac signs. So sit down, Leo. Okay, pay attention. I'm talking about you. I know how your ego is. I'm talking about you. I said the magic words, Leo, so you better appear, Leo. You better magically appear in your seat. Put a seatbelt on it. The seat not going nowhere, but put a seatbelt on just because. So you don't go nowhere. Um, and I don't want you to fall over either, Leo. So when it comes to you, Leo, when it comes to you, okay, you love to give. You're either extremely selfish or you're extremely selfless. And even if you start off extremely selfish, you always end up being selfless 
in your later years. You end up being the favorite grandparent, Leo. You may have been the problem child. You ended up being the favorite grandparent. You always mature as you get older. You're one of the best zodiac signs with the success stories and maturity. But Leo, your downfall is your love for yourself. And I'm all about self-love, Leo. Everybody can learn from you when it comes to self-love. But when it comes to manipulation of the self-love, you fail dramatically. Leo, that one person that loved you was telling you things that aired you up, that made you feel good about yourself. They said you look good, Leo. And you know you look good. You believe that you look good. So you were taking the compliments, base value, all that type of stuff. Everything was good, Leo. Everything was good. And then you realized later in life that that person was lying to you, Leo. It wasn't that you looked good. It's that you looked good enough to not see that you had a problem and that you were easily taken advantage of, Leo. They were telling you things that made you feel a type of way and you took it at face value at first. And then they started telling you negative things, Leo. Oh, Leo, you shouldn't say that. You shouldn't go out, Leo. You should stay at home with me. You, and they're getting in your head to the point where because you believed them so much in the beginning, why should you not believe them now? And now they're really getting in your psyche, Leo. Leo, you don't look good. You never look good. Leo, that's why nobody likes you, Leo. You just want to be the center of attention. Nobody want to look at you, Leo. They tearing you down from the inside out now. They tearing you down from the inside out now. And now everything is affecting you, Leo, because you already have saw yourself in such a big light. You already take your pride and your reputation so seriously. All the words is cutting deep because it's coming from somebody you were loyal to. You known to be the most loyal zodiac sign, Leo. That has a problem. That's a problem. Everything Mother Earth transcends. The astrology has its simple meaning. Hunger Games Astrology Version Part 9 Here are the top 5 Comment who you think will win Now on with the games Twentieth death of male Libra. Come back for part ten. Who's the meanest? Most likely to get into a fight. Most emotional. Most likely to do weird things in public. Most likely to get pregnant after a one night stand. Who catches feelings quickest? Most likely to break someone's heart. Who's the funniest? Who's the alcoholic? Like 
I'm in love with you and I want to be with you. All right, let's date. I can't. Why not? I don't know, I have like mental block. But you're in love with me. Just because I want to be with you doesn't mean that I know what I want. 